day and then have that day turn into a really bad week my car broke down took this guy to PetSmart to get groomed and I got a call while he was there he was acting very inappropriate I had to come pick him up they were uncomfortable yeah that's right the next day I came to get a haircut and I went to Tommy Guns who did a fantastic job last time they did a terrible job I have to glue my hair down to get anything going and they shaved off my mustache without asking. What the hell? So I had to clean out my storage room and while I was doing that, I stepped on this. Why did it have to be a Halloween pin? I honestly had a hard time pulling it physically out of my heel. And about a day or two later, this guy wanted to go outside. So that's a good boy. And he ran outside, jumped up on the patio furniture and um, yeah, he took a pee right on the couch. Outside though, right? So that's a good start. Later that day, I was on a really important phone call and this guy started barking like a freaking maniac because they were mowing the lawn. I decided to duck into our, our bedroom and I'll make this phone call and then all of a sudden, yeah, he had taken a crap in the bedroom and I just stepped in it. I get in my bare feet. Same foot that I stepped on the pin with, by the way. And the very, very best, the thing that kicked it all off, uh, after seven and a half years, I lost my job. Not for any bad performance. Quite the opposite, actually. Um, a restructuring. You know, when bad things happen, you got a choice. You can be angry about it, or you can learn from your situation. Could be 30 below, you could be on the side of a highway. So that's a good thing. Sometimes when you start a new chapter in your life, you're the one who picks up the pen and begins to write. Other times, someone else starts the chapter for you. There's a philosophy that says, life is like a wobbly wheel. Sooner or later, that wheel of yours, uh, that wheel of life, is gonna hit a bump, you're gonna get jolted to a stop, and that wheel's gonna break, but it can be fixed. Was what happened to me fair? No. Whoever said life was fair? And I personally refuse to allow myself to stay angry about the situation. I had seven and a half years to learn some incredible things from some really great people. So now I have a chance to step back a little bit and figure some stuff out. Think about what I want to do. Now it's easy to focus on everything that's bad with 2020. And we don't let ourselves fall apart when we see the leaves starting to change in the fall because we know it's going to happen. If you think life sucks, it will. And sometimes the toughest part of the day is just deciding to be happy. I truly believe that whatever you focus on, you will manifest. You're afraid of things? Life will be scary. The poop will wash off. My foot will heal. My mustache will grow back. You see, once you realize that life is off balance, off kilter, you can be sure to be looking for something to hold on to. But don't hold on too tight. You gotta make sure you know when to let go. And when I say let go, I'm really talking about letting go of the past. Now, just because someone else decided to get rid of me, it doesn't mean I don't have any value. I will get a new job. I'm just gonna use this time to try to figure some things out. Find out the things that I really like to do. Things like making more creative videos, like this one. I am looking forward to getting back and finishing up my whole series from Vancouver Island. I'm just gonna get back in the new swing of things. I got a few other ideas as well. So, you know, keep an eye out for those as well because I'll be sharing them with you here. I got plenty of time to work on videos now. And now that I think I'm over my anger, I've put all of that in the past, I'm ready to move on. And I'm excited. Honestly, I'm excited for the future. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time from the Holy Moly. Baby, don't check for me. Take